Thanks, Lewis. It's kind of interesting that uh, I'm currently senator from the 52nd, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody who's running for the senator of the 52nd. But that's what uh, happens during redistricting. And as we uh, redrew the lines, I'm now going to be in the 14th district, uh, Senate district. And uh, an interesting thing happened when I was at the Capitol earlier this year. I walked out into the hallway, and there was a couple of lobbyists that were sitting along the rail there. And one of them said, hey, who's this Yahoo running against you up there in Rome? And I said, well, who are you talking about? And they gave me the name. I said, listen, he's not a Yahoo, and he's not running against me. My district's changing. And they said, okay, well, we just called him Yahoo because he was running against you. So there's a lot of <laughs> There's a, there's a lot of confusion as, as the district lines change, but currently in the 52nd, I represent Floyd County, uh, about half of Bartow, a little more than half of geographical Bartow, and most of Gordon County. Well, with the redistricting, that's moving to uh, being about half of Bartow, most of Cherokee, and some of Cobb. So we have to elect somebody to represent that part, portion of Bartow County that I won't be representing in the Senate and all of Floyd County. During this election season, you're going to hear, especially in our primary, there are going to be a lot of people out there saying, I'm the Republican or I'm the true Republican. I'm a conservative. I'm a true conservative. Those aren't just titles. And that people need to understand that words matter and the things that you should say should have some truth behind them. To be a Republican means that you stand by the ideals and the principles and the platform, not just one, two, or three planks, but you adopt the entire plank of the Republican platform. To be a conservative Republican means that you add on to that or you emphasize five conservative principles. Less taxes. And that means less taxes, end of story, not let's just lower taxes when it's convenient for the government. But when the government needs more money, then we'll go back and we'll tax the people. It also means less government. That you want to reduce the size and the impact <coughs> that government has upon the individual citizen. It means supporting policies that increase personal responsibility, eliminating the nanny state that we have, we have grown into. It also means that you stand for liberty and justice and freedom. Freedom of the individual. And the last thing is that you understand what the proper role of government, according to the ideals of our founding fathers, were. That's what differentiates a conservative. I'm proud to introduce someone who I have found that meets those principles, those ideas. There's also something else that you'll see a lot of during the campaign season, and that's endorsing. Now, when you endorse a candidate, what you're saying is, I identify with the principles which they stand for. There's endorsements in every race. I want you to be very careful and pay close attention to those who endorse different candidates and, more importantly, who some of the candidates have endorsed in the past. With that, I want to introduce somebody who's, who is uh, held up to those principles. Not only has he, when he was in the county government in Floyd County, reduced taxes, they lowered taxes six times when he was on the county commission. To me, that shows somebody who holds fiscal responsibility, can balance budget. He's a businessman. He's in the medical field. Uh, he's also a good friend of mine. Chuck Hustow. Chuck. It's great to be over here with you guys again. Um, I had about a two-minute speech last time. I think it gives me a little bit longer this time. So uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Chuck Huffstetler. I uh, live in Floyd County, grew up in the Shannon area. I have uh, three children, two of them in graduate school right now. One of them is starting her uh, doctorate at Georgia State. She'd gone to Wake Forest and got her master's. My wife had already said, when you go down there, you know, your daughter's going to be there. I think she's going to ring with you because I see what happens to some of those guys down there. <laughs> they change, and she's going to follow you everywhere you go. Um, and uh, I uh, don't plan on changing. I plan on staying with the same conservative values that I had. Uh, I had been previously with uh, a couple of corporations in corporate management, uh, Earth Grains and Welch Foods. I had managed larger budgets 
than the Floyd County government budget before I got in was elected in 1998. And I knew that there were there was a lot of low-hanging fruit there that we could streamline that government. Um, and so I was elected. I was elected as a Republican. We were the first Republican commission in Floyd County. Uh, four of us, all small business owners, were elected. Uh, and unlike Congressman Gingra here, I don't deliver babies, but um, I do give the moms epidurals or put them to sleep when he delivers the babies. I uh, was actually doing that till about midnight last night uh, at one of our hospitals here. I do anesthesia there, and I have to be careful because I've told a couple of you now, I say anesthesia provider, I had put in my first press release, I was an anesthetist, and um, one of the ladies was talking to my wife, and she said, my husband was reading in the paper, Chuck us talking about blah, well, he's a blank, he's a blank atheist. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so to avoid the confusion, now I say anesthesia provider. <laughs> um, I tried to get that straightened out. Uh, our commission was a good commission. We came in and inherited a mess uh, that had been left us from former Democratic commissions, including one of my opponents in this race. The paper over there said there's going to have to be a huge tax increase. This, this county's in bad financial shape. Uh, we got in there, we worked hard. We had a small tax decrease the first year, a larger one the second year. And as Barry had mentioned, six out of the eight years we were able to reduce the property tax and millage rate over there. At the same time, we didn't do it on the backs of the employees. All our employees got raises every year. All eight years, no furlough days. Uh, and we increased the fund balance that had been 